What is going on guys and welcome back to another Just Cause 4 news video and I'm pretty sure every single time I make one of these videos I start off with a similar sentence of I just didn't think we would get any much more like cooler news if you will and it always seems to keep like topping itself and then doubling and doubling and that is exactly what has happened today. Now guys if you could drop a like on this video I'd really really appreciate your support and as always leave your thoughts on the topics we're going be talking about in this video because it is super super important uh because who it comes from is the founder and ceo i believe of avalon studios and it is christopher sunberg now if you've been watching the last two just cause four videos uh the news videos to be specific just mentioning this game's existence you will know it has just started up like a fire of some absolute epicness right so if you haven't yet checked those out the links will be in the description below but today well not today yesterday actually um, something absolutely incredible happened and it's like it couldn't get much more like teaserish or like leakish or leaked if you will and Christopher just keeps on giving them I guess you could say now as you can see on screen right now are the tweets from Christopher Sunberg yesterday and even today so it says first of all from yesterday I'm looking for a game designer with experience from PvP and PvE for future games we have in the works for release in 2020. Now, first of all, we know from what we've been going off, right, that this is just cause for, and the information I have yet to give in this video just more or less is like the icing on the cake. So, first of all, we're talking about like a potential release date here for just cause for, which is 2020. Now, I know it sounds far away, but look how quick. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's far away. It's really far away, okay? But in between that time, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some pretty epic shit going on. Now, to add to that, today he went onto Twitter and put out a few tweets, which I've combined, and as you guys can see on screen. So I'm going to start off from the bottom and go up. So it says, we've been doing 200 hour plus gameplay experiences now for a while, hence why we're taking them combined with multiplayer. Now, before I continue to read the other things that you guys could probably start reading, um, this whole sort of thing about 200 hour plus gameplay experiences. Now, I want to stop it here and just say, I don't know, like, the average sort of gameplay uh, playtime, I guess you could say, for Just Cause 3 is across, like, PlayStation consoles um, or just, like, PC as a whole, but... When he's saying this, he's clearly indicating that, well, he's just talking about games where they're heavily focused single player games, but games that make you just spend a whole lot of time. And of course, he is kind of like inferring to Just Cause 3. Now, the next two tweets more or less confirm that. He says the whole debate about single player is sideways. It's all about execution and expertise or expertise. I, I can't pronounce shit, okay? Now, again, just stopping it here for a second. The whole debate for single player. This all happened with Just Cause 3 and when the multiplayer mod was announced, all of that kind of stuff. It was a big debate, you know, like, why is this game only single player? Look at all the other games that got multiplayer. Look how big Just Cause 3 could have been and even had the potential to be and technically did actually nail that with the Just Cause 3 multiplayer mod, which got, I believe, over 140,000 downloads, if I'm not mistaken. Like, last time I was speaking to Dennis, who is, like, one of the founders, more or less, uh, for this and you know who is a big part of the multiplayer development he did say something like that now bear in mind that is just for PC okay and <laughs> it's funny because we all know the game in frame rate isn't exactly the best game on console right now you can only imagine PC so I mean just like taking all of that into like consideration and seeing how many downloads that got I'd say personally that is some pretty epic shit I always said to myself though just cause 3 wasn't as appreciated but you get what I mean like if that was on console it would have easily been in the millions a hundred percent now the final tweet from Christopher Sunberg was recent debates are just signs of the times that we all need to level up think smarter and accept the commitment to make great game now that said he's kind of like saying in this tweet it is time to take all of this like um, I guess the debate into consideration and level it up and think smarter and accept Except literally the commitment to now go into a multiplayer because I know there was loads of things going around uh, about the Just Cause 3 multiplayer mod. A lot of people were of course saying the first thing, why on earth isn't it on um, of course console and 
Even though, like, it sounds like, okay, why didn't they just put it on console? Like, it was super, super easy to do that. But actually, uh, going into all the technical stuff, which I literally do not know about, so do not ask me this, okay? But going on to all of this stuff, um, it was like a whole lot of technical stuff as to why they couldn't do it. So, in this tweet, again, this is just another reason why I know he's talking about Just Cause 3, because he's saying... It is time to level up and take the commitment to actually make Just Cause 4 multiplayer. Now, I do have a fear, and I'm not gonna lie, um, from his recent tweets, right? Even though we still are waiting for the confirmation if it's Just Cause 4 or not, but even though it more or less is like indirectly confirmed that this is the game he's talking about, right? Uh, I feel like, well, the fear I have is that I don't want it to be like heavily multiplayer based. Like, hold on a second, because the way he's been talking is like he genuinely might make it like an online entire game and that's definitely not what we want like <laughs> for me anyway like I definitely do not want that however I definitely do want multiplayer for console just not multiplayer only you know like hey let's not go down that route of doing the complete opposite right um, because I think it's safe to say a lot of people still enjoy single player just as much because I'm definitely one of those people okay and we all know multiplayer would just get out of hands even though they'll probably have certain restrictions to stuff um, but you more or less get what I'm trying to say here, but I don't think they would do that, alright? But like, hey, don't take my word for this, because I did not work for Avalon Studios, and if I did, I promise you, I would have made Just Cause 3 multiplayer, alright? I, I would have really, literally grafted my ass off to find, like, some way possible to do that, but... End of the day, I'm still happy that, you know, the route he's talking about is more or less positive, but I want you guys to get in the comment section below, you know, and share your thoughts about what Sir Christopher Sundberg is saying, and, uh, hey, we can make a little video, uh, debating all this stuff, you know, talking about people's opinions, and, um, I might just start, like, a podcast with, like, a, another YouTuber, or maybe, like, the Nanos team, or something like that, um, and just genuine, like, Just Cause fans to, like, have a like discussion I guess you could say so get any comment section below let me know what you think as always if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe for more awesome content but I will catch you in the next video but until then I hope you guys have yourselves a ridiculously awesome day and adios amigos